hello thank you very much for joining me today on what the hey where i am once again answering yet another question that someone brought up um and that actual question is what the hey is the Derek 28 and this was asked by jose gameplays 6024 big number anyways thank you very much for the question and i'm gonna answer it or i'm at least going to try to so in terms of like a very basic description in my own words of what this channel is the Derek 28 is essentially a Peruvian Minecraft like let's play and skit creation channel like they use characters from their own series and other franchise to make content. I would say that in general a lot of the content includes like fast paced jokes as well as like fun gameplay so if you're someone who's looking for specifically someone from maybe Peru or someone who speaks like Spanish and stuff uh, but they do Minecraft and gameplay content this is a good like example and channel to check out. Since this is a YouTuber, if you would actually like to check out their stuff, I always link the people I'm talking about in the description. So if you want to check them out, that is available to you. I did also want to mention and show the actual channel description and I kind of have it translated in like my own words kind of thing. Uh, but they basically talk about how this channel means a lot to them and that they put a lot of like time and effort into it. Um, and then they also kind of include the fact that they do like parodies and skits. Uh, so that's kind of what they describe their channel as being. So to kind of discuss this channel from a more factual kind of historical point of view, I wanted to bring certain stuff up like when they join YouTube, which that date is November 28th of 2012. So they've been around for around like 10-ish years, which is quite a long time and that's very impressive. And since they've joined, they've gotten around 228 overall channel views, which is quite a lot of like views in general for really anything. Um, their community stands at around 1.5 million subscribers. And for their community, they've uploaded around 194 actual videos, which is quite a lot. And it seems like a lot of people enjoy them. So that's great. If you would like to check out this page, aside from just watching YouTube videos, because I know not everyone just uses YouTube, like it's not everyone's favorite platform, Derek does have a few other social media accounts like Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. They also have a business email. I don't know if they would like respond to an email that you send them, um, but they do have those options. Um, but they also have a few other YouTube channels that they do use. So it's not just the main, like the Derek 28 channel. There are other options to follow follow them and like stay up to date with. Now when going back into discussing the actual channel itself and the type of content that's on there, if you're wanting to look into it but you're not exactly sure how, they do in fact have quite a few playlists. They're kind of split up into the genres of content that they have, whether it's like a specific series that you're trying to watch, a specific game, or it's just random content in general. So they do have specific like categories of videos if you'd rather like check out something specific rather than just scrolling through. So that's up to you for the most part, um, but that's just an option. So for the second to last part of the video, what I would like to do is bring up three specific examples of content from their channel because sometimes I find it really interesting to see the progression of a channel, like what they did when they started, what they did kind of in the middle and like what people know them for, as well as what they do now. Um, and to start with this channel, the first video they ever did was essentially like the first episode of a Minecraft Let's Play, and that was uploaded on April 21st of 2013, so that is about 10 years ago, which is crazy. 2013 does not sound like 10 years ago, but I guess it is. Now moving on to the most recent video that this channel has done, it's kind of up in the air as to whether or not this is considered like recent um, because the video is titled Jealousy Hi I'm Steve or translated rather um, and that was uploaded on February 11th of 2023 so that's about six months ago and essentially what it is is it's like a part of a series called like Hi I'm Steve and for this specific video it's basically a skit of Steve being jealous of I guess like like his girlfriend or something um which is pretty like consistent with his most recent content because it's a lot of stuff to do with like parodies and skits dealing with steve like as a character um so in general it's pretty consistent in terms of what they want to upload and create for the channel 
Now, if you would like to check out what the most popular video from this channel is, which I would suggest doing so, because it is funny, um, it is titled, I Troll a Rat Boy Who Cries, and His Mother Beats Him, which was uploaded on March 8th of 2016, and it has around 5.9 million views. And what it is, is essentially what the title says. It's a little bit clickbait e, but it's still funny. I enjoyed watching it, even though I didn't necessarily understand everything that was being said. I thought it was funny. It essentially reflects like what 2016 is, like what it was. Um, so good video. I liked it. So for this last section of the video, what I would like to do is kind of explain my general opinion about this channel um, because there are a few things that I took away from just doing research and looking at it. One of the first things that I noticed about this channel that I liked um, is the fact that I like their, like, title cards and, like, the words. I guess you would put, like, captions and subtitles on their videos. Um, like, I feel like that's a lot of things, like, channels like Mr. Beast does. Like, when they have the words on the screen and they're, like, a fun font or whatever. I feel like people who do that put a lot of time into that because I don't really do that. So, I'm always like, that's impressive. But I feel like those kind of help with the kind of, like, entertainment factor of the video, um, in general for the channel. So, I think that's fun. This kind of goes along with like the entertainment factor of what I like found from this channel is that a lot of what Derek does, it's very much so fast paced. So he kind of keeps your attention and tries to keep you entertained, which is very hard to do because like a lot of people, a lot of content these days is just like fast, you know. Um, so it's usually hard if you watch a lot of content that's quick to be focused on something that's long. Um, so I feel like he, like, he notices that and he takes advantage of that. Not in a bad way. It's just something I noticed. This is such a basic thing, but the fact that he plays Minecraft. Like, I like Minecraft. Minecraft is fun. So that's something that I like about this channel. This is also super small and almost stupid for me to say, but I love the fact that he uses, like, the specific emojis that you type on your keyboard. Like, not actual, like, iPhone or Samsung, like, phone emojis. Like, the little smiley face with the dot and the little, like, parentheses thing. You know, like, I love that stuff. I think people who use emojis like that are very wholesome. So every time I would see those in, like, the description or whatever, I love seeing that. So I like that. Another thing that I like about this channel is that, at least for me, it's pretty nostalgic because I grew up with YouTube around like the early 2010s, probably late 2000s. Um, so I got to see a lot of like the meme culture, you know, you got like FaZe Clan and the like, mom, get the camera, you know, pyro cynical Teletubbies MLG videos. And in a lot of Derek's content, he has like the old meme faces. I know they're called something else. Um, not like the Wojaks or whatever, maybe that's what it is, but a lot of like the meme template faces, those are in there. So I guess for me, it's like even though the content I don't believe is made for older people necessarily, like a lot of the skits, it's like that's something a child might would want to watch. I think it's still funny and it's still enjoyable because some of the jokes are pretty funny. Like, for example, I think my favorite video from this channel is one It's called, like, See Peppa Pig Hugara Minecraft or something like that. <laughs> it's funny because it's like, Peppa Pig to me is just funny. Um, but there's a whole part where, like, her dad plays a trumpet and he puts a different song in there and I just thought it was funny. Um, so I like that video. That one's fun. Sí, tienes que soplar muy fuerte. But yeah, overall, even though I'm not super familiar with the channel, like, in the depths of its history, I think from a general perspective, like, just watching a few of the videos, even though I don't fully understand them, it's fun. I like Minecraft. So if you like gaming channels and you just want something to watch while you're, like, doing homework or something, or you just want to watch it because it's fun, I would say this is a good example. But that is essentially the answer to the question. Once again, I will have them linked in the description. So if you would like to check them out and watch the videos for yourself, feel free to do so. Um, but that is essentially it. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.